yeah, I do have my pillow pet with me because you would probably see my tits if I took it away. Just saying. Because I never wear bras anymore. It's kind of not a feminist thing. It's just, I fucking hate bras. That's all. Just really don't like them. They're super uncomfortable. Hey friends, I have not vlogged in a really long time. You probably want to know why or maybe you don't and you're just like, Amber, I'm tired of hearing the same damn story, bitch. Just stay consistent. See, I would love to stay consistent, but I'm just not a consistent motherfucker, apparently. Let's get to it. For the last eight months, I have been very sick. Eight months ago, I had kidney stones. I had two kidney stones, and they were obviously very unexpected. It's not like you wake up and you're like, oh, November 17th, time to have kidney stones. No. Doesn't work that way. Is that mark on my wall? What the fuck? Like I said, eight months ago I had two kidney stones. They were obviously very unexpected and it took me a very long time to heal from them because I also had another infection at the same time that was a bacterial infection. Don't want to get into that disgustingness because it was disgusting. And I had to get a surgery the day before Christmas Eve on my kidney issue. Okay, it was gross. Luckily they put you to sleep for that shit because it's basically like very invasive. Anyway, so most people start to feel better in like two or three weeks or so after they have kidney stones. It took me about two and a half months. So that was the first thing. I started to feel better and then I started to feel really bad in uh, mid-February late mid to late february i started with this really weird stomach bug and that's what i thought it was i thought it was just a stomach bug because i was in new york city for my sister because she had to get a surgery so i thought okay maybe i picked up like some sort of virus because my mom was sick as well so i was like okay so that's what it is no Mm -hmm. I am still very much sick with this problem all the way in almost July. I'm still ill and it's not always consistent which makes me kind of speculate if maybe I have Crohn's disease which I know you're not supposed to self-diagnose yourself but almost every single symptom I have except for like fevers so I really feel like okay maybe I have Crohn's disease Maybe I just have an intestinal parasite. Maybe I'm just batshit crazy, which is another thing. <laughs> um, not saying you're crazy if you have mental disorders, but I am pretty sure that I have OCD as well as anxiety and depression, which both of those things in my life have become increasingly harder to control out of nowhere. So I'm considering being put on medication but that's another, that's another thing that I'm going to get into after. So OCD, why I think I might have it. I think I might have it because when I have an anxiety attack or a panic attack, I feel this impulsive need to suddenly start rearranging my room. And I don't mean like I rearrange a couple things. I rearrange every single thing in my room for hours. And there's no point to it. It's not like I feel like something is wrong in my bedroom and I need to just change it. I will rearrange it for hours. And then suddenly I just stop and I feel content. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know what I don't know what that would be considered. I don't know if it's if if it's this weird coping thing with my anxiety, but I just I have to change things in my bedroom, in my space. So my anxiety and depression have been horrible the last couple of months, and that concerns me and also disappoints me because I spent a lot of time trying to make myself feel better and you know, work better around bigger groups of people and handle situations better, handle life better, but I don't have a job. I, you know, am skeptical, skepti skeptical, skepti skeptical, skeptical, is that the word? <laughs> to go back to college because I feel very overwhelmed about the whole thing. I'm very stressed out all of the time and it might be related to the fact that 
I don't know what's wrong with me right now and I would really like to find out and I'm going to the doctor tomorrow actually which is a good thing and then my uh, cancer doctor in the middle of the month so I mean we're gonna figure out what the fuck is wrong with me you know I was very against medication for my anxiety and depression and I have nothing against people that do that um, but for me I just it was like I, I didn't want to admit that I might need that help and that I can't handle it on my own. The medication I would take if I took any would be Zoloft because I know several people that have taken Zoloft and if you don't know what it is it helps you with anxiety, 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 depression, uh, if you're a woman, postmenstrual disorder I believe it's called which in my case, I'm pretty sure I have that as well because I don't just get like sad when I'm PMS. I get so depressed that I don't leave my room for seven days or ten days because my PMS always lasts way longer than everyone else I know. But I get really, really sad and really, really anxious. I can't look at myself in the mirror. I can't handle anything. I can't like put on clothing because I think I look horrible and everything. It's it's really debilitating and I thought that that's just how PMS is, but I realized after reading all the symptoms of this sort of certain disorder or disease, I don't know what they consider it, all that matches up as well. So I'm just a damn mess. Uh, but I'm okay with that. I'm trying to figure myself out, guys, and I'm sorry for constantly making excuses and not being around. It's just been a really stressful eight months. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else I can say? I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and a great week, and I'm sorry that I have not updated you because I should have at least made a video and told you, you know, I've been really sick, so I apologize for not being around. I am going to try to make more vlogs and do more things, but it's probably not going to be as daily as I hoped, just because I, I get very, very tired from whatever is going on in my system, so I sleep a lot. I sleep as much as a koala, more or less. Like, I didn't put makeup on for this because I just wanted it to be as real as possible. And I'm not doing this for pity or anything like that. I just want you guys to know what the fuck is up with me. I hope that I can make a vlog very soon. Ah! Ooh. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. I will be back soon to grace your computer screen and make you feel uncomfortable because that's what I do. That's my job. I love you guys. Pillow pet.